Good morning, you guys. It is 8.45. It's an early morning this morning. I got up way early and did my workout, and um, I'm just about to make some breakfast for the baby. So I just wanted to show you really quick how to use your baby Bressa for some other things other than just making pureed vegetables and pureed fruits. Um, I'm a big fan of having oatmeal for breakfast. It's one of my favorite breakfasts, especially this time of year because it's December and it's chilly. So it's just nice to have something warm that's good for you because oatmeal has protein in it. So um, what I like to do for the little one is buzz this up and make it a little bit um, finer, I guess, because I, st I still feel like babies can't chew as much as we can even when they're a year old so this is a great breakfast alternative than other than the rice cereal um I just wasn't a big fan of the rice cereal because I think it's just empty calories and at least this way the baby is getting some kind of protein so what I do is I fill this up almost all the way not quite all the way but I fill it up pretty much with the oatmeal and these are old-fashioned oats these aren't quick oats because quick oats don't have any nutrition in them at all they're just um, they're already processed to make them go that quick so don't use quick oats use these old-fashioned oats and I've already got this plugged in I have a small <laughs> leftover birthday cake which will probably not all get eaten we're gonna I'm gonna end up having to throw some of this away because I'm not supposed to be eating cake right now um, I already have some water on the stove here warming up and I'll just show you this is really cool because you can just blend things and make things smaller if you want to so just give it a few taps I think I told you in one of the last videos if you just press and hold this it doesn't stir it quite as much if you tap it and pulse it I feel like it mixes things up a little bit better and you get a more even consistency also your baby probably won't like hearing this I just give it a few taps until it's a little finer you can see how that cuts up the oats a little bit more and you don't even need to take the blade out just bring it over to your water that's warming up and pour it in there we go and we'll give that a few stirs. Now sometimes I add wheat germ to this um, which I do think is nice to just make it a little bit more hearty. Let's stir this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the wheat germ out of the fridge here and I don't measure this you guys because oatmeal kind of cooks to consistency so just kind of pour a little bit of that in I bet that's probably about a quarter cup so I probably used about a cup and a half of oats to maybe three or four cups of water and then about a quarter cup of wheat germ and all I'm gonna do is let this come back to a boil cook it for about five minutes and then um, turn it off and let it sit and make sure all that water absorbs and then I'm gonna take a big tablespoon and spoon this into an ice cube tray and freeze it and then 
every morning when it's time for breakfast, I take one of the frozen cubes of oatmeal out and I put it in a small bowl with a splash of water, like a tablespoon of water. And then I'll take some of her favorite fruit, you know, maybe some mashed up banana or a frozen cube of peaches or pears or something. And I pop that in the microwave for about 45 to 50 seconds and stir it all up and your baby has a nice, healthy, hearty breakfast, um, kind of sticks to their tummy a little bit, gives them some protein, gives them some fruit, and um, it's a really great way to introduce solid breakfasts to their life too. So I hope you guys learned something today. Hopefully you can use this recipe for something. Um, and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.